Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Ponster Cliff Reservoir. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I will write it at the bottom of the screen. I've just had a lesson from two gentlemen on how to pronounce it. So hopefully I have pronounced it correctly. Ponster Cliff, anyway. Um, it's been a nightmare to get here. I set off, I think four and a half, five hours ago. It's supposed to be a three hour drive. I've been stuck in busy traffic. Um, there's been an accident on the road. Um, there's been road closures. Uh, yeah, but you know, it's beautiful. I mean, Wales, you've got to take your hands off to these guys. They look after this place. Some of the scenery on the way down on these roads is just fantastic. Um, it's such a, a beautiful country. It's so well looked after. Yeah, so I'm at Ponster Cliff, Ponster Cliff <laughs> Reservoir. Um, I think I said lighthouse before, didn't I? But reservoir, I am sorry. Um, it's one of those places that I've wanted to photograph for a while, but there isn't really a lot to photograph. So, you know, this vlog is gonna be like maybe one or two photographs for something that's gonna be, you know, eight, nine hours driving. But yeah, I love it. I mean, I don't know if you can see it from here but it's just up here but yeah we're gonna I'm gonna try and find a way to get down there and then we're gonna take some photographs again using long exposure to see if we can smooth out the water but um yeah it's stunning it's so quiet listen all you can hear is the you know the water beating against the dam but um yeah it's beautiful Okay, so I'll um, I'll speak to you shortly. Thank you. Well, I've made it. Um, I've taken two photographs already, just to sort of test the scene, sort of thing. Um, but I've done um, about 30 second exposures with two photographs. Um, I've now set the camera up with the 10 stop and the 6 stop, and I'm going for. Um, I think it's ISO 400 and it's a four minute exposure um, because I really want this water smoothed out. What I really wanted, what I really, really wanted was water flowing over the top of this drain. Um, every time I come to do a reservoir with those in, every single time, they're, they're dry. It's not happening. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's um, a really nice spot, really quiet, nobody about. And it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful place. This would be great fun. Um, there is a bank just down here, so I'm gonna try and get down here in a bit. Um, I'm still having trouble with uh, with my legs as I always do, but I'm gonna try and get down there. There's a little observation point just there, and there's one further up there. So I'm gonna try and take some photographs from from over there as well. Um, but there are literally gonna be, let's say, at the most five photographs. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be good fun anyway. A long way to come for five five photographs. But it's great fun, isn't it? I love it. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. I did one for six minutes, but I looked at the photograph and it looks like there's loads of spots on the, on the lens, which is probably from the sea last week. Now, I've cleaned the camera and all the lenses, but still there's marks on there. Now, I don't know if it's because of dust particles that have landed on the you know the lens here or in the bag or whatever but um yeah i've cleaned it all again and i'm trying again um i thought six minutes wasn't quite long enough as well so i'm now going for seven minutes um yeah it should it should be a really nice photograph what i'll do is i'll share that one with you now i'll share the other ones that i took previously i might even share my share the one with the with the dots on it as well just so you can see what i'm on about but um yeah all right i'm going to move once this one's finished i'm going to move over there okay so i am determined to get over there <laughs> anyway i've just i've just um taken another one or that other one uh, which was six minutes or seven minutes wasn't it seven minutes and it's still not quite enough um so i, I took one with just the 10 stop which gave me i think it was 40 seconds 50 seconds it's just not enough it's not enough so I've gone again with the six stop and the 10 stop fitted and I'm going for eight minutes. Um, 
that that should do it um yeah the, the photograph is is nice don't get me wrong the photograph is really nice um but i it's just not quite right and and i want it to, if i want to share it with you guys and i'm prepared to take criticism for my photographs then then it has to be right and, and it's going to be right so if i have to do it again for 10 then i will but this this should be okay all right hopefully i'll speak to you over there <laughs> all right thanks so th this okay before i go this is stunning uh, there is a bridge the well this is the dam obviously and there's a, a road that runs over the top of, of the uh, alongside the reservoir and um, there's been no cars there's been no people there's nothing it's just blissfully quiet beautiful okay well I made it I've moved um yeah I've set up I'm shooting across the water now um, I'm doing an exposure of five minutes at f11 um, ISO 300 I think it was or 250 um, but again I you know I'll put it all down but I'm also walking around with the D500 and taking some handheld photographs um, because you know I, it's getting dark and I want to get as many pictures as I can I just don't think I'm going to be able to return here unfortunately I mean I'd love to get it with the water shooting down that drain but um, unfortunately it's just my luck, you know, it's probably the third or fourth reservoir I've been to with a drain hole, whatever they're called, and um, they're never, you know, the water's never going over. I saw a picture by Paul Crompton, a beautiful photograph, um, and the water was going down that hole. So, yeah, unfortunately, that isn't going to be me. Anyway, I'll share this one with you now, and then I'll share some others as well, and I'll come back to you in a minute, because I'm going to move just over here. Okay, switch in a minute. I've moved again and I've come to this little plateau of rock. It looks more like slate to be fair. Um, but I've come to this little landing that's just on the edge of the water of the reservoir. Um, and I've got the camera down low. Um, because although these lines are going that way, and the tower is over there, they're actually pointing to the um, the walkway. So it's not really as I would want it. I'd want it so that the lines will lead into the tower, but you know, I can't change the way the the rocks are made. Um, so yeah, um, ISO 100, um, F11, and five minute exposure again. Uh, the last one looks really good on the back of the camera, I have to say. Um, so I'm going to share that last one with you, if I haven't done already. And I'm going to share this one with you. I'm going to go around again. Like I said, I've been, excuse me, I've been going around with the D500 as well, handheld, um, taking some photographs. Here we go. <laughs> taking some photographs. And um, yeah, I'll, um, I'll share some of those too. I don't know how good they are. I just think that when you're doing five minutes, it's better to do something with a second camera than just to stand around watching it. Anyway, we'll, we'll see how they turn out. Okay, thank you. I'll speak to you in a minute. Okay, so I have to leave. Um, looks like there's a tractor when my car is parked, struggling to get past my car. Um, so I'm either gonna go and get my car and start heading home or bring the car down here and um, well let's do it again um, there's some cloud cover now so the photographs would be you know quite nice gives a sec I've got to do a bit of uh, going under a fence which is going to be hard work gives a sec oh that's hard work anyway yeah um, I'm heading back up this road which is the dam walking over the dam back to my car um i'd like to try and get a photograph from here actually i don't know if i can but i'll bring the car back down here yeah i'm going to come back unless they've hit my car <laughs> uh, so i'll bring the car back down here and i'll try and get one from here all right i'll speak to you in a minute well, I'm back. I got back. I've driven the car to uh, where I was, so 
you know I'm just parked here um, and I've got the camera now mounted on the wall of the dam looking down upon the walkway um, so that I can photograph it I'm doing another five six minute exposure time looking across the walkway to the tower um, and hopefully yeah it's in, um, hopefully it's included the um, drain or the overflow whatever whatever they're called I'm sorry I don't know what they're called somebody somebody tell me underneath what they're called anyway um yeah so um I'm doing five five or six minute exposure um looking across and then I want to go further down and doing looking um at uh, from the side of the dam as well and then I'm going to call it a night so yeah I'll just get this one done and I'll come back okay <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't make it up so I've moved the car parked it up and I can see it and look I don't know if you can see it I have a puncture and I've got the spare out to put it on and it says 50 mile an hour max hmm yeah about that I have about 250 miles to go to get home so yeah okay change my tire and then head on back hi guys I don't know how well you can see me but I'm uh, stuck on the side of the road with this puncher unfortunately I can't get the wheel off for some reason so um, I'm gonna end the vlog here funnily enough so I can get on with the car um, yeah my, I, I'm unable to get down um, I, I'm not gonna go into all that it, it's irrelevant but um, I've got no phone signal um, and I'm stuck on the side of a road near a dam <laughs> with a puncher anyway I'm gonna end the vlog here thank you very much for watching I am uh, now going to share all the photographs. I hope you enjoy them. Thanks ever so much. This has been an adventure. You have a great day. Bye. I'll see you again soon. <laughs> well, I have been here an hour. Um, <laughs> um, the, the wheel has seized on to the hub. Um, so I've had to call the RAC out. I've been an RAC member for... I don't know how long and I've never ever called them out I don't think I don't recall ever calling them out before um, but I just cannot get down to fight a wheel um, to get it off <laughs> so um, they're gonna be about an hour so anyway I think I got some really good photographs tonight um, I, I did um, a 12 minute exposure from the side of the wall here looking to the um to the tower on the end of the walkway um i don't think that one's going to turn out funny enough because it got dark really quick once i started to take the photograph but you know i will try and 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 make it work yeah because it's the photograph i want now but you know anyway enough of my whinging I'll let you know when I'm fixed and back on the road. But it looks like it's going to be a hotel stay tonight. Oh well. Okay, thanks guys. I hope you like those photographs. <laughs> a breakdown in the middle of nowhere. Could only happen to me. Speak to you in a bit. Okay, so still waiting for the gentleman from the RAC. But in the meantime, I thought I would use the wall. Um of the dam and I've put the camera on the wall on F4 ISO 1000 because I can see some stars I've not done uh, nighttime photography before not really interested me if I'm honest but um, that that might be a good shot if it works out uh, yeah so we'll see we'll see how it looks out and um, obviously if it doesn't work out you won't see it okay yeah okay I'll see you in a bit thank you morning guys another day another dollar um so i've come to a place called arj tires i think it's in merthyr tidville um to get this puncture repaired so i've decided to um go back to the reservoir and um, because it's been raining overnight and i'm hoping there's been sufficient rain to make the water flow over the top of the drain um i don't think there has but um you know i won't know till i get there anyway yeah so um the vlog continues even if it is just for a short period of time so once i've um, had the tire fixed gonna uh, go and have some breakfast and then make my way back to the reservoir speak to you later
and a very good morning to you all. Um, today is Friday, I have returned. Um, I'm in a slightly different spot to what I was yesterday. One of the photographs that I wanted to take was, so I'm sort of adjacent to the tower. Um, I couldn't do it last night for the reasons that I explained, the puncture, the thought that my car was being hit, etc, etc. So I have come back this morning um, to do the photograph or one of the photographs that I wanted to do yesterday. Um, it's probably the only photograph I'm going to do. I'm going for a two minute exposure and um, the problem I've got is it is raining and um, so I'm having to wipe the um, gra not the graduated filter, the ND filter um, every time um, but you know obviously every time I wipe it more rain or more snow falls on it. Yeah it's, it's a bit sleety this morning but um, yeah hopefully it will be worth the effort. The photograph um, is underway now. Two minute exposure. I've got the um, ND6 and the ND10 graduated filter on to give me that exposure time of two minutes. Um, yeah, hopefully it's good. I will share that with you now. Um, I'm going to end the vlog here I think. Thank you very much for watching. My apologies for all the drama. Please give me the like. Please subscribe. Leave any comments that you have. I'd love to hear what you think especially of this photograph because I've just driven an hour to get back here. Okay, thank you ever so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Goodbye, see you next week. Thanks guys.